So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to another Rule Breakers player review. In this one, we are going to be trying out the 87 rated Romelu Lukaku who has been given a pretty significant boost in that dribbling department and we will do a comparison to the non-inform in a moment. But before we do that, if you guys could leave a like rating on this video, that'd be very much appreciated. And in the comment section down below, let me know your thoughts on this item and also let me know which other of the new rule breakers you want to see me do a video on. There's some pretty cool ones that I want to try and uh, yeah I'll try and get around to doing as many as I possibly can. So let's jump straight into things shall we. Let's pull up the comparison between this new rule breaker card and his non in form. Jumping on over to Footbin then as you can see on the screen right now he has been given some very very big boosts in that dribbling department, plus 36 on the balance, plus 25 on the agility, and a couple of plus 10s in there as well. Very, very nice stat upgrades to see indeed. Um, obviously, he's also been given a pace boost, which definitely helps a lot as well, and his shooting was already impressive, so uh, I'm expecting him to be able to put the ball in the back of the net regularly for us in game. In terms of a chem style, I am thinking we just go with a Hunter, help boost up that pace a bit more. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at some stats then. What is there to discuss? Well, first of all, the physicals look pretty nice. He's got a 90 strength stat, so hopefully we get to utilize that as much as we possibly can. Also, um, should have good aerial ability as well because he's got a... He's obviously naturally tall and he's got some good heading accuracy attributes. And um, when it comes to shooting, 88 finishing is definitely a good attribute to have, as is the 89 shot power and the 94 composure, which is in the dribbling department, but obviously it does affect the shooting. And um, his passing actually looks quite nice as well for a striker, so uh could be a very, very good target man option. But um it's all about the dribbling department with this card because that's where he's been given absolutely monster boost. 85 agility, 95 reactions, 88 dribbling, and 88 ball control. Yeah, hopefully this card feels good. Hopefully he doesn't feel too heavy in game. I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not expecting him to feel like a brilliant dribbler, even if he had 99 dribbling, because obviously he's a pretty big player in game and like those kind of players just never feel too great on the ball. But um Hopefully this is a one-off and uh, hopefully this card actually feels great in possession. So let's stop rambling, let's get into some matches and let's see how he does feel in game. Game number one then, we are up against a full Syria side. He's got Delict and Manoas in his back line, so those are the two we're going to be trying to beat with this Lukaku. Lukaku looks huge in game. Oh wow, he's just he's absolutely wiped out instantly. But um, he, he looks big in game. Like he's a presence, look at him. All in behind for Lukaku. Can we get back on the inside? We're going to try to. There's a chance. Lukaku on the 10. Holds off his man. Hits the finesse. Oh, wow. Just denied at the right moment there by... I think it was Milinkovic Savage. So, uh, yeah. At the break, we are 3-0 down. Um, need a big, big second half. Oh, Martial links up with Lukaku. He's through. Got a chance to pull him back here. And we will do exactly that with a nice left-footed finish. Chance. Lukaku pings the ball over the top, and here's Hakimi, who's in on goal. Now we do have a chance, and I, I just don't want to shoot with Hakimi, if I'm being honest. Mane slips the ball through for Lukaku. Keepers off his line, he goes with his right foot, and he's actually netted it as well. And we have pulled this game back. We were 3-0 down at one point, 4-2 down, but now it's all square. Can we get the win? Oh, it's a good ball. There's a chance. Oh, I bottled it. I bottled it. I went way too early. I think a simple finesse or a power shot. And that ends up in a goal. Oh, Mbappe's done so well there. Ball's whipped in from the Kaku and there is the goal. Okay, we might be snatching this one. What a comeback. Oh, chance. Mbappe puts it through. The Kaku's done well to stay on his feet there. And the ball comes through. And the Kaku might have a chance to get one more in this game. It's a tight angle. I just thought I'd go for the shot. Probably shouldn't have, but um, with the clock ticking, I thought, you know what, why not? We win the game 5-4, and um, yeah, what a second half that was. Next up for us, and Lukaku, is this. It's a pretty nice Premier League team, to be fair. The midfield is absolutely stacked, but uh, the back line doesn't have too much pace, but um, it's two good defenders. So uh, let's see how Lukaku gets on against them. Nice. Good bit of link-up player. Here's a chance for Lukaku to maybe get through this gap. He's up against some centre-backs, which really aren't too quick, so he should be able to dispatch of them quite well, but gets through in the shot. Dragged wide on the weaker foot. Marcial flicks the ball through. Lukaku, good touch. Can he get the shot away? 
what happened there? So, um, that's a good assist. That, that's fair enough. A really nice assist, to be honest. But I pressed shoot there. I didn't press pass. That was strange. Really strange. I mean, I'll take it. Like I said, it's, it's benefited us. But, um, I pressed the shoot. And he's passed it. Chance. Lukaku. Oh, he's beating his mind. Can he get the shot away? Yes, he can. And there is the equalizer. We are comeback kings in this video today. Ball's through. Here's the chance for Lukaku. What are we going to do here? We're going to go for the finesse. And it's going to end up in the back of the net as well. That was a nice finesse. And that is the comeback complete. We're now 3 to up. Well, there is half time. What a first half that was. Uh, my opponent like, was dominating very, very early on. And then I made a formation change. And we just got ourselves back into the game. So hopefully we can keep the lead. Or at least extend it in at the second half. Oh, what a ball from Lukaku. And Martial is onside as well. Chance to extend the lead with the chip. And we do exactly that. Another assist for the Belgian. Martial plays in Lukaku. Who's going to do well to get a touch on that. Puts it into the box. There's a chance for Mane. And that's five. Well, to say we were 2-0 down, I think we've done pretty well in this fixture. Two goals and two assists for Lukaku as well. Very, very positive outing. So now our time with Lukaku in the team has come to an end. It's time to discuss his performances. And I've got to be honest, I really did enjoy using this card. It was, uh, yeah, it was fun. Like, the fact that he's got good pace, um, really good strength, and also um, decent dribbling now means that he's just a bit of a handful for defenders because if defenders are fast, they're probably not going to have the strength to deal with him. And if they've got the strength to deal with him, they're probably not going to have the pace to deal with him. So, uh, yeah, he really, really can be a defender's nightmare, especially in this year's Ultimate Team. Um, in terms of pace, how was he? Um, felt relatively quick. Like, don't get me wrong, he's not rapid, but um, he's got that breakaway edge, which is nice. And his shooting for me, I thought was really, really good. Um, like the left footed finesse uh, finesses, and I also like the power shots with this card as well. Like, in and around the box, this card can and is absolutely deadly. Um, like the positioning too, it's one of them cards that just seems to get into the right areas, which is obviously very, very good. It does have medium, medium wear crates, but um, honestly, it didn't really affect him too badly. I thought his positioning was great, his run making was very nice, and uh, yeah, you saw in the clips, he got into some good areas, and he created chances not only for himself, but others as well, which is obviously nice. Um, passing, that was brilliant for a striker. For a striker, his distribution is very, very good. And you saw that with uh, the amount of assists that he picked up for me in a short space of time. So really, really happy with that area of his game. He's definitely a player that, as I say, can score and create for others, which is very, very pleasing. Um, so now we come on to the dribbling. Look, I'll, I'll just say it like this. The dribbling isn't as good as maybe 88 dribbling suggests, but the dribbling still feels very nice for a Lukaku card. Like... He's, he's still not like super easy man uh, maneuverable and um, you're not going to be dribbling with him like you would a Neymar or someone like that but um, the dribbling feels like a very very notable upgrade and he's definitely a lot more usable than uh, his non-informed items so uh, I'm a big fan of the dribbling boost. As I said dribbling is very good but maybe not as good as uh, the 88 rating does indeed suggest but um, yeah I liked him on the ball to be honest. He is very slow in performer skill moves though that's something to, uh, to note. Uh, physically, as you would expect, the guy is a bit of a beast, showed really good strength in game, which was nice. And uh, even though his stamina isn't particularly outstanding, it's just 72, um, I thought his stamina held up quite well for me, so uh, very, very happy. So all in all, I think this is a great card. I really, really do. And uh, yeah, I probably will use it again at some point in the near future in FIFA, because uh, ultimately, it's one of the best Serie A strikers you are going to be able to get your hands on. And also, it's a fun card too, so yeah, really pleased with this Lukaku item, and uh, I actually really do like this promo. This is what this promo should be about, making cards like this very, very usable, and that's exactly what's happened after that monster dribbling boost this Lukaku was given. Anyway, I'm rambling, let's wrap things up. If you have enjoyed the video, please do leave a like on it. If you've got any questions, pop them down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.